Hi, this is Anna Crow with the Get Real Podcast, where CEOs, CMOs, and communications experts share their real advice. It's six questions in under nine minutes because we get to it real fast. So let's get to it. Tony, excited to have you on the show today. Could you tell us who you are and what you do? Yeah, thank you so much, Anna. Really happy to be here. Um, well, I have an interesting story. I do a lot of things. Um, for the majority of my career, I've been an entrepreneur focused mostly in the racing world, uh, motorsports and racing. Um, and that led me to then become an executive producer uh, for a racing documentary called The Gentleman Driver, which is on Netflix. And both of those things, directly and indirectly, led me to my newest challenge, which is um, I am the chief commercial officer for a really cool AI company called Valkyrie Intelligence. Uh, we're a company that basically uses AI and machine learning to solve really big and interesting problems for all kinds of companies and governments through data and science. Very cool. And I know you're involved in several industries, but what would you say is the best thing about being a leader in one of those industries? Uh, well, I'll focus on AI. Um, being involved in this industry, which I'm new at, has been incredibly exciting um, because you, we're a part of an industry that is revolutionizing the way the world works, right? Uh, and the way we look at and solve problems. Um, it's just such a thrill to be involved in an industry that will have such a huge impact in humanity. You know, I feel, I feel like I'm like part of the industrial revolution or something like that. It's just, it's just awesome. Like when you can, when you see what we do and how impactful it is, it's, it's very exciting. Yeah, absolutely. You guys are doing some pretty remarkable stuff. Um, you know, I hear from other executives and leaders that creating authentic connections can be challenging, especially given the noise today. And that's your team or your customers or anyone else. I'd love to hear your take on that. Yeah, um, it definitely is, uh, especially when working remote, obviously. Um, um, for us, it's been all about positioning ourselves in a way that we're different and unique. Um, and actually, this is where my very weird, unique experience came in because we're using racing as a way to promote an AI company um, and identifying a niche and a space that nobody else owned that we can own. So this has really given us a, a way to have great talking points and a good way to get conversations started, both externally, but also internally within our team. It's given us just sort of a feeling of belonging to something else that nobody else does. And, um, you know, you got to find something that sets you apart, right? So that's, that's kind of the way we've approached it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and with that, you know, I, I hear, I get a lot of different advice on this show. And I'd love to hear something from you. Do you have any real advice for other leaders? Is there anything that you think is really important to note? Yes, um, I would say trust your gut, trust your instincts. Um, there's a reason why you got to where you got. Um, for me specifically, um, obviously I've kind of jumped a lower place. I went from managing race car drivers to producing a movie, to now being in the leadership team in an AI company, right? You would think one has nothing to do with the other, and, and they really don't. But um, what I've noticed is that that entrepreneurial spirit or talent or whatever you want to call it, it really applies anywhere. Mm -hmm. um, businesses or industries, are the, the, the fundamentals of them are really not that different. The product might be different or the audience might be different but the principles are very similar. Um, so if you have it in you, 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 you'll have it no matter what you do. So trust, trust your instinct, right? If something tells you this feels wrong, then it's probably wrong. If something tells you I should push for this, then you probably should. Um, and sometimes what's been really cool for me is sometimes I've noticed that having an, uh, sort of uh, an external voice or, or an outside opinion to something Mm -hmm. uh, really helps our company think outside the box. So yeah, I mean, it would just be trust your gut and don't, don't be shy. Don't be shy. You know, the, uh, the best example is, uh, the imposter syndrome. That's your worst enemy. You know, uh, if, if you're somewhere and somebody's asking you a question about something, there's probably a reason to it. 
Absolutely. Well, I love that because you you bridged both authenticity, which is your voice, your what's genuine to you, right, with those external connections, a combination of of both, which I think is um, to your point so critical and um, and so important. And also for those of you who have not watched the movie, highly recommend it uh, or the documentary. It's uh, has great parallels of racing and entrepreneurship. I just found that really fascinating. I, I think you captured it really well. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah, very cool. Well, before we get to our final question, which is more of a fun one, are there any other successful executives such as yourself that you would want to give a shout out to or think should be on this podcast? Um, yes. Uh, well, actually, so Charlie Burgoyne, he's the CEO of Valkyrie. Um, and he is a really interesting guy. He's basically like a, this amazing mixture of half really good businessman and half a uh, super smart scientist. Uh, so I think he, he would have some really cool opinions here. And another person I can think of, uh, his name is Rob Ferriel. He's a Marine turned aerospace executive, now turned race car driver. So he has a very interesting outlook on life as well. So I think that would be very interesting. Yeah, no, they sound great. And, and both have really diverse backgrounds. Um, similar to you. And, and speaking to diverse backgrounds, always love to get a perspective on where people got started. So could you tell us about your first job? My first job was um, I worked for a photographer. Mm. Uh, she did portraits, just like family and uh, personal portraits. I would do all of her photo editing, Photoshop, stuff like that, uh, and put together whatever yearbooks or whatever wherever's needed that was when i was in high school and a freshman in college oh very cool i yeah. love that good experience not what you're doing now but good definitely experience. not what i'm doing now but it was, <laughs> yeah you know you gotta it's helped me with some whenever i need to do photoshop now for whatever type of <laughs> presentation <Perfect. laughs> I got to, I got to awesome well um tony how could people get a hold of you or learn more about valkyrie or any of your other endeavors uh, you can follow me on LinkedIn, Tony Calderon, and check us out on Valkyrie, um, valkyrie.ai. And if you want to watch the movie, Gentleman Driver on Netflix. Fantastic. Well, appreciate you being on. And uh, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. For more insights, visit us at crowpr.com. Thanks so much and make it a great day.